Hey friends, Catherine here. Um, we are going to try doing a pour through our drain strainer again, but we're going to try uh, and we're going to do it on glass again. I don't know if you can see it here, but I've got a piece of glass um, because I want to see if we can't get a better, better double sided thing going on. Um, so the thought, my thought is that the last one was so diffuse on the back side because it um, spread, because it wandered around a lot. So I'm going to try and pour a smaller puddle to see if I can't keep it small and keep it in the center so that it doesn't wander off too much. Um, so I'm just going to sort of do the same thing I did last time, set up some bits of wood to support my strainer hopefully we can get this sort of centered ish something like that maybe and then we can take our strainer and nudge those apart kind of and that's probably about the way that we want it to be. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, and then that's close enough to being centered. I'm just eyeballing it. So let's put a little bit of paint. I've got some purple and I've got some yellow, which should be kind of fun colors. Hopefully it'll make something interesting. And let's just do just a little bit and layer it in smaller amounts this time. And I think my yellow is a little bit thinner than my purple is, which should make for a kind of interesting painting, I think, because the yellow will be more likely to spread out and to huddle on top. Maybe just a little bit more. We don't want to do too much. I'm kind of working off the, the theory that less is more with these. All right, so I think that'll be good. We'll just let it drain through for a little while and spread out for just a little while. And hopefully we will end up with something that is fun and pretty. We're going for fun and pretty. Hopefully that's how it'll end up. I'm just gonna let it sink through for a little bit. And that's actually probably good. Okay, now I realize that this is gonna spread out more as it sits, so I don't wanna let it get too big. So let's just take that off. And Lift away our wooden pieces and our extra cups. And that is what we have. That's centered-ish, close enough. And it's very like chrysanthemum-y, maybe? We'll see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. And you guys will see me in just a couple seconds with the with the dried version. See you in a little. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's dry. It drifted to this side a little bit. Here's the outer edge over here, and this one's over here. So it's drifted a little bit to this side, but that's okay. That'll give us an opportunity for a fun little project that I'll show you guys tomorrow. But now it's time for the big reveal. This side looks super like floral to me but when we flip it over look at how cool that looks can you can you see that can you see all that detail it's got like these like fading like an iris and like it's just so cool looking to me that's amazing i love how that turned out i am very happy with it um if you all liked this, definitely let me know. I am always happy to hear from you. 
Uh, and remember to subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!